Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. I am back from vacation. This is the first video I am sitting down to film. After being gone for almost two weeks, I went to the Turks and Caicos. I did post while I was over there. I posted some Instagram reels and I posted some YouTube shorts and some pictures over here in the community section. And you know what guys? I got me a new, a few new Bucky's t-shirts. Guys, I think I went I bought more souvenirs at Bucky's than I did uh, at Turks and Caicos. And the Bucky's we went to is the one in San Marcos, Texas, which is on the way to Austin because we flew out of Austin. But we're going to do a get ready with me. I have some new makeup that I picked up from Sephora, a couple things that were sent to me in PR, and just some old faves. If you guys want to hear all about my trip, and if you also want to hear what's going on with, unfortunately, my Instagram account, keep on watching. Okay guys, so I did a little bit of dermaplaning when I got back yesterday and I kind of nixed myself in certain little areas. So if you see like any little uh, cuts, that's my fault. That was all my doing. But we're going to be doing, some of you asked me in my last Get Ready With Me video to try the Laura Geller, uh, what is it, the... Baked Balance and Brighten foundation on its own. So uh, the other Get Ready With Me video, I tried it on top of the one size BB cream. So I'm just gonna wear this the way I would a powder foundation. Now I have the shade Fair. That other video, I wore the shade Light. I do have a little bit of a tan. I mean, this is tan for me. I still think the shade Fair is going to work. So before I do that, I'm gonna go in with a primer and I'm gonna use this one that Smashbox sent me. This is the uh, Photo Finish Illuminate Glow Primer. All right, so let's talk about, let's talk about my trip. So I haven't put makeup on since last Tuesday, and it is Friday when I'm sitting down to film this video, and I don't know if y'all are going to see this video go up on Friday or Saturday, but it will be very soon after I film it. Um, so the last time I put makeup on was on the plane going to the Turks and Caicos. And I put it on, we had two flights that day, so we flew out of Austin, so we went to Austin to Fort Lauderdale. So that was the longest flight, so that is when I put my, my makeup on. And I did do a little Instagram reel and a YouTube short over that makeup look. I am a nervous flyer, so that just helps me to kind of relax, calm my nerves, and I did a real good job. I did a real good job on all four of my flights, two going, two coming, and I'm very proud of myself. For a concealer, I'm gonna go in with an old fave, and this is from Sephora. It is uh, from their Sephora collection line. It is the best skin ever concealer, and the shade I have is a really good shade. It's called 10N. I feel like this is a really nice shade match for me. I'm gonna do a little bit under here. By the way, have you guys seen all of these new color correctors like in particular peach and pink color correctors that have been coming out i ordered the one from elf and did i order another one i know i saw one from nars i saw some from huda um i've just been noticing a lot a lot like everybody is coming out with color correctors so I won't be able to try them all. I did place a couple orders as soon as I arrived back in the States. Um, I placed an order from Sephora and I placed an order from Ulta. I also received the, uh, what was it? The Bella Beauté Bar, the All Mattes Palette, the Collaboration Palette. So you guys will see six looks using that palette. Uh, go up really soon on my channel probably right after you watch this particular video I also ordered I was able to order a couple things while I was over there So I ordered some stuff from the elf website and I also ordered the new Manny and Laura Lee collection. I thought that looked cute. So um, I wanted to try that out so be expecting videos on all of that stuff really soon. Yes, I did order the Janessa Myricks yummy skin tint or whatever it is. I don't know that I'll do a dedicated video on it unless you guys really want me to, but I am going to be using it 
in uh, a get ready with me video that's going to be up next week uh, on my channel so okay so that looks good now we're going to go in laura geller they sent me two different shades of this i'm going to be using the fair one they also sent me the brush and it is a retractable brush so i guess let's try using using what they sent my favorite brush for powder foundation is this one right here the bk beauty 106 this is my preference but mm, actually no I don't really want to use this I want to know I want to go with something that I know is going to work uh, I do have a new setting powder but I'll use that maybe I should use it right now you know what let me use it right now before I go into um, that foundation it is this one from Givenchy this is just the mini size of their Prisme Libre in shade 3 violet robes so I've been loving the original one so much that I decided to pick this up like pink powders pink setting powders are definitely a thing right now like that and correctors and blush have you guys seen the amount of blush that has been coming out from all the brands specifically like Tarte Tarte seems to be dropping so many new things I was like oh my gosh I did order a Tarte palette uh, when I placed my Sephora order yesterday, I'm trying to take the sticker off that's on this thing. So um, as soon as that comes in, I didn't get the big ego one. I got the mini one. It was like a six pan palette. I thought the color story looked really cute. There were some pinks and purples in it. So I thought that was more, more my taste right now, what I'm looking for. Um, I'm more, you know, 16 pan palettes or less. That is my vibe right now. I'm just putting a little bit in the cap here. Let me get my, oh, there's a little powder puff. Look at how cute this one is. I'll use this one. Let me just make sure I don't have any creases. But yeah, guys, I haven't worn makeup in a long time. Uh, nothing is really very fancy over there in the Turks and Caicos. And if you're not sure where the Turks and Caicos is, it is south of the Bahamas. And it is gorgeous. The pictures do not do it justice. It really is a beautiful, beautiful island. I recommend if you go uh, definitely to rent a car. You don't need to do all-inclusive. I know there's a few resorts uh, that have that option. I really think you're better off renting a condo or something like Airbnb. That's what we did. Um, and we rented a two-bedroom, two-bath condo. And then we rented a car. You definitely have to rent a car. And then we were able to explore the island and see some of these beaches that like are so deserted. Nobody's there. It's like maybe, you know, us and two or three more people and that was it like really beautiful beaches now I'm going to go in with the baked balance and brighten on my BK 106 water like swimming pool water I mean you could see straight through to the bottom soft white sand I mean just picturesque quintessential beach vacation without a lot of how do I want to say, like a lot of commotion, you know, it's not like it's a party island. Um, sure, there are excursions you can take, which we didn't end up doing any excursions. We just ended up exploring the island ourselves, finding different beaches. Um, but we were out there like we. OK, so you're going to get sticker shock when you go, like especially to the supermarket, because everything is like double or if, if not quadruple the price that it is here in the United States. So we went to the grocery store um, right after we got set our things down in the condo and um, we got like, you know, things that we, we needed, bagels, bread, eggs. I mean, all of that stuff, way more, way more than what we pay here in the U.S. And I remember just walking through every aisle and I was like, how much is this? How much is that? Like, and the reason is because they don't, they have to import everything. Turks and Caicos, they don't 
export anything. So their main business, their only business is tourism. That is what they know. That is what they do. They are not the exporters of any particular good. So everything on that island, um, obviously it's very hot, um, but everything has to be imported. So that is why uh, the prices are so high. I recommend if you are planning a trip there and you're going to do like the condo life or whatever, you're not going to do all inclusive, which I really don't think you need to do that um, because there's some amazing restaurants. You're definitely going to want to get out of the resort and check them out. Um, but take your bread with you, take your bagels, take your peanut butter, take, you know, even toilet paper, like everything was just marked up so much more than what we pay here in the U.S. So take, if you can, a suitcase just filled with, you know, everyday essentials, because trust me, you will need them. And I think this foundation looks beautiful. I definitely have a beautiful glow going on on my complexion you can see i got a little bit sunburn right here we were in the sun i always wore a hat right and i always reapplied sunscreen but still the sun hits your face like my shoulders are peeling but we were out there typically from 12 30 to 6. so we we like to stay if we could to watch uh the sunset um so we did that a few times it was just too beautiful like you don't want to you, you don't want to leave. It's just you're having such a good time. The water is the perfect temperature. Just amazing. So for bronzer, oh, you know what? I didn't grab. Let me go grab a bronzer. I thought I had a bronzer in here. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to use this one from One Size. This one is in the shade Light, and I'm taking that on a BK 111. I'm just going to kind of mix through all of them. So yeah, guys, we had a really nice time. A really nice time. I know you guys saw the pictures. You guys can see firsthand just how beautiful the water is. It's just it's even prettier in person. If you are looking for a laid back, safe, just chill island to visit that has beautiful, beautiful sand, beautiful, beautiful water, and good food. You know, it was good food. Uh, there were some places that were more expensive than others, but they have um, food part, like uh, food trucks and stuff like that. There's uh, like little hole in the wall restaurants that the locals love to go to and those are really good as well. I mean, those are the hidden gems, right? Um, but I would definitely recommend Turks and Caicos. Just be prepared for uh, the prices. They are gonna be a lot higher and also rent a car. Wanna point out that gas is uh, like $6.89 a gallon, but the little compact car <laughs> that we rented we only had to we had to bring it back filled with gas so we only ended up needing to put twenty dollars and that was because we were there for eight days so and we drove that car every day uh just exploring the island so that wasn't too bad that wasn't too bad uh we had this trip planned since january so um yeah we just we had such a good time we're already thinking about where do we want to go next year now let me start talking about instagram because instagram has been acting up for me and it has been acting up for a lot of content creators not just in the makeup space the beauty space but just it seems like they're targeting smaller content creators um, specifically which is not good news for me because I am a small content creator. I am a lot larger here on YouTube than I am on Instagram. It's just been so hard for me to grow over on Instagram. The blush I'm going to use is this one right here. This is new from Armani Beauty. I got this when I got their new reformulated uh, power fabric concealer. This one is in the shade 50 mm, Luminous Silk Glow Bl Blush. just says shade 50. It looks really, really pretty. So with this, what we're calling like an Instagram ban, um, it starts off with you go to post something. And I had a lot of content scheduled to be posted while I was gone. And so I went to, I think I was posting something that I didn't already have scheduled. And so I, when I went to post that, all of a sudden a white screen comes on. And then it asks you to, it says your account has been compromised, change your password. So you change your password. 
And then you get a message right after changing your password that uh, you're using third party uh, apps to pay for views or to pay for followers and that goes against the guidelines and so you're going to be banned for a week and I'm like what like I just I'm just going to post I have earned every one of those 6,000 followers on my own for four years 6,000 followers yeah right <laughs> yeah right i bought my i bought my followers but um that's what happened and so i thought you know what maybe if i do the blue check mark if i pay for the blue check mark because you can cost 15 dollars a month maybe that will help them see look this is me this is my verified account uh obviously i don't use any of those third-party apps um but no that didn't work either Thankfully, my scheduled posts were still able to go up without any issues. The only thing I'm not able to do, well, I guess I'm kind of getting access back slowly. I'm not able to like anybody. Anybody that posts, I can't like their stuff. I tried to leave a post, uh, not a post, but a comment yesterday on the new Blend Bunny palette that's going to come out. And I think it allowed me to do that. Um, and then even like when you all would comment on my pictures or my reels, it wasn't letting me respond back to you. And it kind of started letting me like your comment, but that's as far as I could engage with you guys. So if you were wondering how come Steph hasn't responded to my comment on Instagram, that is why it hasn't let, been letting me. So it says I'm going to be out of this block or ban on uh, June 24th. So we'll see. I'm just going to town with this blush, aren't I? <laughs> but um, I guess I'll find out. I'll find out uh, sometime this weekend if it lifts. I've heard people are going into a second week of being banned. Um, and I've also heard that it's happening to accounts over 10K as well. So I don't know. I really, really don't know. My friend Alicia, right here, I'm going to put her picture. Alicia, uh, her channel is Budget Beauty. Um, she's been a really strong voice for us, um, especially like, like me, like I was, you know, out of town, I wasn't really able to give this the full attention that I might have if I had been here, you know, but it was like an unnecessary concern for me. Like I didn't want to have to worry about losing my account while I was on vacation. Look at how gorgeous this glowy blush is. Oh my goodness. I don't even know that I need highlighter and I have a new highlighter that I want to try out. It is kind of like a cream highlighter. It is this one from Say Beauty. Uh, it's like a blush highlighter. The shade I have is called Pink Glow. Let's just try it. Let's see what happens. I'm going to use my Sigma uh, F03. Yeah, F03 brush. I'm just kind of clean it off on the back of my hand. So we'll see what happens. I am i don't want to lose my Instagram account. I love Instagram. Aside from Instagram and YouTube, I mean, that's it. Those are my, wow, wow. Those are my two platforms, social media platforms. And I've worked hard. I love Instagram. I think it is a fun place to be. But, you know, if this is going to keep happening, then obviously I can't stay somewhere that is going to keep giving me these problems. And I use Instagram a lot, like to do little reels or to update you guys on different things or just share, share parts of my life with you guys that I don't really necessarily get to share here on YouTube. Um, People have been saying, well, why don't you just go to TikTok? One of my friends, well, the friends uh, one that I went with on vacation, she's like, why don't you just get on TikTok? She's been telling me for a long time, get on TikTok, get on TikTok. TikTok. I'm like, I don't want to be on TikTok. I don't like TikTok. Like, it's just not my thing, you know? Um, I don't know. Maybe I will have to go over to TikTok if this Instagram thing doesn't work out. Uh, I don't like Facebook. Mm, Facebook isn't my thing either. I used to have a Facebook back in the day, but I'm sure I have a Facebook because I have an Instagram, but it's like I don't really post anything on there. I don't know. 
I'm loving the way this complexion is looking. Let me add, let me add some setting spray. I'm just going to use this one. I don't have a new setting spray, although I did see Cali Ray Beauty came out with a new setting spray, so maybe that's something I can pick up soon. Okay, my complexion is glowy, just the way I like it. Let me go take care of my brows, and then I'll come back and we'll start playing with, we'll start creating an eye look. All right, brows are on, and the eyeshadow palette I want to use today is the Everyday Sparkle Palette. This is the latest one from Ladybug Glow Cosmetics. I do have a look uh, review where I'm creating two different looks with this palette, but I haven't used it since filming because I left shortly after that. So I want to use it in today's video. I think I'm going to do, let's do a little bit, let's do something a little bit smoky maybe. Um, I actually don't even remember the two looks I created, so I'm hoping I'm not going to recreate the same look. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to pack this shade all over the lid. This one is Cacao. I'm using a Game Beauty E03. So that's what's been going on, guys. That's what's been going on for me, like vacation-wise, Instagram-wise. Uh, really hoping that I get everything figured out. Uh, but we'll see. I will definitely keep you guys posted in the event that I say goodbye to Instagram and move over to another platform. I don't know. We'll see. But i um, hoping and praying that by this weekend it just all irons itself out and everything goes back to business as usual. So, yeah. But other than that, guys, I had a fabulous time on vacation, but I am ready to get back to work, and I actually need to go get my nails done. Look, this one broke. My pedicure, oh gosh, my toenails, the polish chipped so, so bad. I was so embarrassed. I, I'm like the type of person that, hold on, there's a plane going by. I'm the type of person that has to have, like, you know, a good manicure, a good pedicure, always. Even if it means I do my own pedicure at home, but for sure I go get my nails done because I do have an acrylic overlay and I do the shellac, or the gel polish. Um, but that's that's me. That's who I am. Like I don't ever have chipped polish, <laughs> so I didn't obviously have that polish over there. I wasn't I wasn't able to fix it, but yeah, and I didn't have any closed-toed shoes, so oh, that was just yeah, that's. I was embarrassed. I know it's nothing to be embarrassed about, but, you know, when you're used to doing something for so long a certain way and having things look a certain way, it's just a little uncomfortable. Okay, so now I'm going to get my Rougher 13. Make sure it's clean. I washed some of these brushes before I left. I'm going to go in with the shade Coffee. And I'm just going to use that to lightly blend out the crease a little bit, just to give it some shape. Let me know where you guys are going. Are you currently on vacation right now? Let us know where you're at. It has been so hot here in South Texas. I would call home every day. And um, that was the only thing that I heard about how hot and unbearable it was. And over there, over there I thought it was, I thought it was warmer than what I anticipated. By the coast, it was nice. There was a nice little breeze, but it was still really hot. And I know you're thinking, well, Steph, you went to a beach. Yeah, but the beach is usually cooler. This, you could tell, like it was, there was an increase in temp temperature all around. Like it wasn't just down here in South Texas or just here in the United States in general. Like it is affecting everybody, apparently. I hope wherever you guys are at, you are staying cool indoors. Those of you that have a swimming pool, when can I go over? I think everybody that has a swimming pool right now is probably taking full advantage of it just to cool off. I'm sure you're having a lot of people that maybe you haven't spoken to in a while. <laughs> they're calling and they're saying, 
hey, what are you going to do tomorrow? Let's get together. Utilize your swimming pool now. This is what it is there for, to cool off. I have a jacuzzi outdoors, but it uh, there's a leak in it. So I've had it flipped upside down because that's where you access. It's a jet leak. Um, and during this time of year, I, I have it on, but it, I don't have the, the heater on. So it's basically like a whirlpool, it's like a whirlpool bath. But I need to get my plumber out to fix it soon. I just, I wanted to wait, just come back from my trip. But yeah, I need to do that really soon because I'm gonna wanna be heading out there to cool off. That is the closest thing I'll ever get to a swimming pool, unless I buy one of those above ground ones. I've had one before, but they also require a lot of maintenance. I mean, it's just like a regular swimming pool. But, um, yeah, I don't necessarily have time for that because I'm going to be focusing on, obviously, improving my content, improving my YouTube channel, hopefully improving my Instagram. And I also want to start looking for a, a part-time job. So... But like a part-time work from home type of job so we'll see uh, I'm really hoping that I don't end up with a full-time job because that was not the point then you know like what would have been the point of me retiring you know like I, I retired one of the reasons was because I was just tired of working both jobs like it's just hard to do both two full-time jobs you know um, and I wanted I needed to make a decision and this is what I chose so I don't want to get back into that, but I do feel like I need something to supplement my income just so that I'm a little more comfortable and maybe something to where I can buy into like medical benefits, dental benefits, because all of that I'm going to have to be paying on my own now. So um, what I'm going to do next is I think I'm going to do this shade right here. The shade is called Bellow. And I'm going to use a little bit of the NYX Glitter Primer. I'm going to place that all over the lid with my Morphe M124. All right, so now I'm going to take that shade, and I'm just going to start placing it all over the lid. This is so pretty. Look at that purple gold reflect. I think I want to go, I think I'm going to get a purple shadow from another palette. I think there's one in the Warriors Wear Pink palette. I think I'm going to grab that one and do that for the lower lash line just so we can change things up. Let me know if you pick that palette up, by the way. That is such a beautiful palette, a beautiful cause, meaning behind it. I'm so glad that Gourmand Girls collaborated with Cedia, who is actively fighting breast cancer right now. I did tell you guys in that video that um, whatever, uh, a portion of whatever commissions I make, for those of you that use my code STEPH, um, I'm going to be donating to Cedia just to, to give her that extra, extra help. And I know Gourmand Girls is also going to be donating a portion of their proceeds as well. Okay, so here is the Warriors Wear Pink palette, and I'm going to go into this purple shade. This one is called Peace. I'm taking this on a BKA504. Now for the inner corner, I'm going to go in with the shade called Dreams. Taking Dreams on a BK210. Okay guys, I am, my newest mascara is still the one from LYS, but you guys saw me use that in my last Get Ready With Me video, so I think I'm just going to do some falsies today, and some eyeliner real quick, and then I'm going to use one of those new shades of the Lifter Gloss, this one right here, this one is in the shade 25 Taffy. And I will be right back to show you guys the completed look. Okay, guys, so here is the completed look. I'm using my favorite Alexis lashes from Shop Miss A, a little rare beauty eyeliner just to tight line the top lash line. And for the lower waterline, one of my favorite shades from ColourPop, it is the shade Fruit Fantasy. And this is the look. Oh, and I use the newest Fenty mascara, this one right here. I think it is the Full Frontal? No, Hella Thick. 
hella thick mascara. I love the way the look turned out. I love this Laura Geller powder. Guys, this powder has been around for so many years. I used to wear it way back in the day in my 20s. Now I'm in my early 40s. And I picked it up again and I'm loving it. Thank you so much to the Laura Geller team for sending it my way. Um, what else did I try? Oh, the uh, Givenchy setting powder, the pink one. Um, I think it looks beautiful uh, on top of the Sephora Collection Concealer, that best skin ever concealer. Love that one. And it's super affordable at Sephora. Um, what else did I use? I think the Armani blush. God, the Armani blush is beautiful. If you, that is what, I think I was expecting the Dior glow blush to be like that type of glow and I didn't get that from those blushes but if you're wanting a glowy blush and you want like a luxury high-end glowy blush then I would look at the new ones from Armani the say highlighter even though it was a cream it went on top of the powder perfectly. I think it's beautiful. I'm just so glowy. I love everything. I love the new shade of the uh, Lifter Gloss from Maybelline. I do have a video where I'm swatching all of the new Lifter Glosses shades as well as the new Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick shades. Everything new for summer. Definitely check that video out. I love these two palettes. Two palettes from two of my favorite indie makeup brands. We have Ladybug Glow, Everyday Sparkle. If this isn't in stock right now, which I think it will be, but she is restocking this one. This is going to be restocked if it hasn't been already. I do have a code Steph that will save you 10% off. I believe my code is Steph also at Gourmand Girls or Warriors Wear Pink. This is a collaboration with Cedia Soto, who is actively fighting breast cancer. Took this one with me on vacation. Loved it. It is just both of these palettes. Beautiful palettes. Definitely worth adding to your stash. Let me know what you thought of today's look. I got my Bucky's tea on. I am ready for the day. I'm ready to go have some lunch because it's about lunchtime for me. Uh, let me know your thoughts on today's video. What are some new products that um, you have picked up that you have been loving? What are some things that we need to stay away from and guys I will keep you posted on what is happening with my Instagram account as soon as I get any new I guess any new things that pop up we'll see but say a prayer for me that I don't have to leave Instagram because I really love that platform and I know a lot of you guys love it too I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos you all have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at stay hydrated guys drink your water it's so important especially right now and I will see you all very soon bye